Welcome. Uh, today we have a case study. The case study is a requirement is to restrict the user to use only a list of accounts, either expenses, revenues, whatever account type, which the user can only assign this account or the user only can see only this list of values. This can be achieved by doing segment security setup where restricted access is given to the users to use only to a set of values from the value set used for the natural account segment. As you know, for your chart of accounts, there are a lot of segments. For each segment, there are a value set. For each value set, there are values. So you can restrict specific values of these values to users so how to achieve that in oracle cloud let's navigate to the oracle first of thing you have to enable the security on the value set once you enable the security you can create a rule Create a rule, you can assign this rule to a specific custom rule or any standard rule. You can make, for example, two custom rules, one full access, second one is restrict access. For the full full account access as a rule, you can give all of the values. But for the others, as a restrict access, you can only assign the restricted values. So let's start first by enable the security on the segment value. Let's once you log in, just go to setup and maintenance, search by manage segment value security rule, manage segment. Managed segment value security rules. Search by the module or value set code. I will search by GL. With our value set code. So whatever se value set you are going to make restrictions, you can select it and make edit. Here you have to enable the security. So just security enabled. Make edit data security. So first step, just check or double check that the security checkbox enabled for your value set code. Then edit the security. Here you have condition and policy. With, a, with the condition tab you have to create to begin start creating the condition for restricted access. Here is the conditions just restrict users to use spins Counts. What is this display name? Restrict spins count. These are the descriptions. For the filter, either filter or SQL predicts, you set match based on what the condition is going to be. For example, if it's three values or four values, and the user should be able to use any. So then pick any, this any, with a filter. A filter or a SQL. This SQL, so you are going to make a SQL predicate, but I don't have a SQL, I just put a specific values. 
so once you find this just you select to specify edit what is the column value this is the value what is the operator either equal less than start with in this case because I'm going to restrict user to use specific values so I will select equal equal to okay in this case there is no list of value so I need to take the values as it is so either write it or take copy and paste the value here so I will duplicate and go to my chart of account value set for the account which is my value set code in this case manage chart of account value set values again search by gl or put value set code manage values of my value set code search I can start by 5 so I will take 3 of these values for example the first value so I come here and put it here again add another value value operator also equal to I take second value for example 102 and 103 2 and one more value here value equal to Zero three. So this is the condition tab, whatever the name, display name, which match with any or all, and put your values with the operator either equal, less than, more than, etc. This is the first step. Just save it. The next step is the policy. Again, create general information of the policy. You can put the name, straight expense. What is the start date? I can put and the modules. Just go to rule and add. Here, what the rules, the, the job rules are going to assign these restrictions. As I told you before, you can create a custom rules or you can assign any standard or standard job rule. So if I select, for example, financial and make search I can search for example for asset again I am going to go down there search let me try to search Asset for example asset accounting. So I am going to assign this role to the asset accounting as standard 
job tool just apply and ok so as you see here Aura FA asset accounting job this is zero and in rule tab just associate the relevant condition to the policy the row set field determines the range of the value set values affected by the policy either you are going to assign sing single value or values or multiple values we will pick multiple values since it has a list of three values it give access to and attach the condition set so in my case multiple values what is the conditions once I open the conditions I will see my condition display name if you remember that we named as rest expense account just okay if you have any description select it here again just okay it's hanging so I can take it copy and put it as a paste here and save and close so saved successfully whatever I put it here policy conditions everything so just submit database resource updated successfully okay then go to chart of account to make a deploy chart of account as a flex field manage chart of account structure again search general ledger search selected manage structure in instance search there ok done deployment status is yes let me check the processes tools Wait me again, sir. So I just log out from the sandbox because in sandbox there is limitations to set up and to make any changes. Again, I reset up whatever is done the same steps and came here to make a deploy flex field once you complete the rule policy and enable data security is in progress almost done so deployment completed successfully okay so what once it's deployed just go to tools from whatever the home page or from the taskbar here 
from tools schedule a new process just schedule a new process import user and rules application security data because it's take time I just run it before like here it must be ended by succeeded so now you developed the enable the security you define the condition policy you put your values as a restricted values you run deploy flex field of chart of account structure and import user and rules application security data once it's deployed and the status here succeeded you can check the result how to check the result i already created a user before I will also show you from security console this user is am here am user search in this am user i assigned the job role asset accountant because before i build my conditions and assign my restricted roles to the asset accountant so i created a new user and assigned this rule to the user so now i will log in by these users from here i can make sign out confirm this is my user which is assigned to the asset accountant or any custom rules because you have the option to create either custom rule or using the standard one just sign in I just would fix assets try to add a new asset just assets go to tasks and try to add assets before adding anything I just go to experience account to check the account once I open the account what I will find I found only the three values which I already put it in my restricted values Tap try to make a search to check if there are any other values just search again you have only 101 102 103 this is how to restrict specific values to specific users either by custom rule or standard rule thanks for watching